What's up guys, my name is Max and today I am excited to present that we are starting a new build. I picked up a 1989 K5 Blazer uh, and we're going to build basically an ultimate adventure truck to go with my ultimate adventure trailer. So stay tuned. Okay, so a little backstory, why this truck is important, why I bought it, what we're going to do with it, uh, and kind of the, the whole rigmarole. That's what this video is for. Um, we're going to cut to some beauties here in a minute uh, as to show you guys what the truck looks like today. It's basically the same as the day I picked it up. I haven't had a chance to really do anything to it yet. Um, this truck is a 1989 K5 Chevy Blazer. It's one of the last full-size uh, Blazer trucks. And I've been toying around with the idea of building and buying a 4x4 for a while now. Um, it's definitely the direction I want my next build to go. But the problem was that all the Jeeps and stuff that I looked at, um, I'm just, I'm not a Jeep guy. There's nothing wrong with being a Jeep guy. They're fantastic vehicles. Um, but I just, every time I saw a Jeep, like, my little heart didn't go pitter-patter after the Jeep. But I've been a huge fan of K5 Blazers for years. I've wanted one since I was a kid. And it was just never practical. The right deal never fell into place. And I never had one until now. And I, every time I go and look at it, and it's been a couple of weeks since I, since I acquired it, every time I go and look at it, I just get that little, little rush of like excitement. And you know you found the right truck when every time you look at it, you're like, ah, that's my truck. So I'm super excited to get this build started um, and I just wanted to kind of touch base on what I'm going to do with it and kind of what my philosophy is. So uh, this truck is basically stock. Somebody bolted some 33 inch tires to it. As far as I can tell, the entire drivetrain, everything in the truck is completely factory other than the oversized tires. Um, and here's my thing. I wanted to get into race cars. I built an E30. I got faster. The more I drove it, the more I practiced, the more I learned. Became a pretty good driver and was uh, fairly fairly successful in the things that I wanted to be successful in in terms of competing with it uh, at autocrosses and stuff like that. 
but I've never had the opportunity to learn to drive off-road. Basically, uh, you know, my truck's pretty capable, my black 2500, uh, all the off-roading I've ever done with it, that truck was way overmatched for the trail. Basically put it in four low and let the thing drive itself. It required very little uh, input or knowledge from me uh, to the point where like, I wanna learn how to drive off-road. I wanna learn uh, how to put my vehicle through stuff like, like, I want to be able to take my truck to Moab and, and know that I can tackle certain things, you know, and, and it becomes kind of a, a, a learning curve. The other thing that I want to learn is I want to get better at my craft. I want to get better at metalworking. I want to learn how to bend tube and build roll cages and tube doors and bumpers and all this other kind of stuff. Um, and this truck is the perfect canvas to do that. So, so the truck fills basically three, three important roles for me. The first is I've always wanted a K5 Blazer. The second is I want to, I wanted a canvas and a justification to learn all these kind of extra metal working skills that I don't currently have. And I wanted to learn how to drive off road. And eventually I want to take this truck to Moab. I want to take this truck to King of the Hammers. Um, I want to get kind of all those experiences by having the right vehicle to take me. So that being said, Yes, I'm going to put one tons on this truck. Yes, I'm going to build custom four-link suspension. Yes, we're probably going to LS swap it. But all these things are going to happen um, kind of over the course of the next couple of years. I have uh, kind of an ethos when it comes to learning a uh, new motorsport. And that is you should take the vehicle you have. I'm going to take that truck, stock as shit, um, and go off-roading with it. Because... Once I learn and break where the stock truck's limits are, it helps me become a better driver because I'm not over-trucked, right? I have to be worried about getting home. It makes you a more cautious driver, makes you a better driver, and helps you learn what things you need to look out for and, and what things the truck can conquer uh, in its stock form. And we're slowly going to evolve it from there. Um, the next couple of episodes, my only real goal is to get the truck safe and street legal. Um, when I got the truck, it was what in Texas is commonly referred to as a lease truck or a ranch truck. Basically what that means, if you see that on Craigslist, uh, you know, that means the truck usually runs, drives, 4x4 works, but it's not safe to go on the street, it's not, doesn't have a license plate, um, and it's not trivial to get one. So the first step, uh, before we can even go off-roading with it, it needs to be able to drive itself from my house to the trailhead. Uh, Hidden Falls Adventure Park is about an hour from where I live. It needs to be able to regularly do an hour of back roads, traveling, a little bit of highway, go, wheel, drive my happy ass home. So that's kind of where the next few episodes are going to be geared towards um, doing a whole bunch of maintenance because this thing's been neglected a little bit and uh, getting it street legal to go on the road. Um, like you guys saw from the beauties, the driver's side seat belt is currently held on with a... Um, with a bungee cord, that's not acceptable. Uh, the front seat is mounted through a wooden fence post, that's not acceptable. Um, but it's a TBI 350, it runs and drives great. Um, and so hopefully it's not gonna be too, too much work to get it inspected and legally back on the road. So I guess while I'm going down that road, let's talk about what's in there right now. So factory 89 K5 Blazer, I've got a 10 bolt front and rear. Um, it's going to be, I believe, the, the 30 spline rather than the earlier 28 splines. I don't know that for a fact yet, um, but that should be it. It's got an NV241 transfer case. It's an aluminum chain-driven transfer case. It's considered to be fairly beefy. Again, it's not, it's not a 203, um, but it should be fairly beefy even long-term with this truck. Um, let's see, it's got a Chevy 350, it's a TBI engine, so it's got throttle body injected, it's fuel injected, um, which is great. It's got disc brakes in the front, drum brakes in the rear, and my favorite part is that the roof comes off. So, kind of in the next couple of videos, we're going to be, every fluid is going to get touched. I'm going to fix all the safety stuff, uh, and hopefully um, we're going to get it inspected, and I would like to hit, so today is basically the, the end of May. Um, and I would like to hit the trails uh, by mid-June. It doesn't have AC, it's gonna be kinda hot, but you know, I wanna, I wanna get out there and, and start learning with it and start seeing what it's capable of doing and then kinda go from there. Um, do I have plans for it? Absolutely. Um, I'm super stoked. I wanna design and build my own four-link suspension. 
I want to learn about that. I'm going to invest in a tubing bender. Um, if anybody from uh, JD Squared or Rogue Fabrication is watching this video and you guys want to sponsor or like help me out with that, um, I'm going to be probably going with one of those two companies uh, for a tubing bender. Um, and we're just going to evolve this thing uh, as, as best I can with the parts that I find. Um, anyway, I'm super excited. This is just kind of the intro video. Uh, stay tuned to the channel. We're going to be posting updates um, as quickly as, as they kind of happen. Um, I'm definitely going to put in quite a bit of work this summer. Uh, hopefully by the time the fall gets here, I, it's probably going to be lifted and pretty stable. And I'm going to be um, trying to do more group days uh, and find some folks that are, are uh, more advanced off-roaders. Uh, and because I want to, I want to learn. That's how I learned how to drive, you know, a sports car properly. Was hopping in with gray beards and their old little Miatas and being taught, you know, how you feel out a corner, like how you set up your brake zones. You know, all of these little technique things. They're different in the off-road world, but they exist in the off-road world just the same. And the best way to learn all of those things is through human resources around you. So. I'm excited to get started. That's enough jabbering. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of maintenance, um, maybe even a few performance mods, uh, just because sometimes it's easier to throw in a performance part than it is to swap out for, for stock garbage. Um, so I'm excited. Anyway, my I'm Max. This is Max Works. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment below. Do you have a K5 Blazer? What did you do to it? How do you like it? Anything you do different? I, I love getting feedback. Stuff that you guys want to see me do to this truck on the channel, leave me a comment down below. I read and respond to all of the comments that I get um, that are constructive to respond to. Uh, and so I'm, I love hearing from you guys and I love uh, kind of helping grow this community. That's it. Peace.